The final round of games in the seven days Euro Cup top 16 is in the books. Let's take a look back at what happened as we start in Group E, where Locomotive Kuban Krasnodar defeated Ukan Murcia 77 85 at Palacio de los Deportes de Murcia. Mardi Collins was the visitor's top scorer with 20 points, while Billy Barron sank 21 in defeat. The win saw Locomotive finish 5 and 1 and will now meet Zenit St. Petersburg in the quarter finals. Ukan Murcia finished with a 1 and 5 record. In the winner-take-all encounter in the group, it was Herbalab Gran Canaria Las Palmas that progressed to the quarter-finals from second place with a 4-2 and two record after beating Montequit Fuenlabrada 100-76 to eliminate the visitors to the Gran Canaria Arena. Royce O'Neill starred for the host with a performance index rating of 34, while Fuenlabrada's Marco Popovic became the Euro Cup's career scoring king with 1,118 points after sinking 15 points for his side in the loss. FC Bayern Munich shone in extra time to beat Kimki Moscow Region 74-96 in the Russian capital and end the phase with a 100% record atop Group F. Maxi Kleber was the star for Bayern with 21 points and 10 rebounds as his side won the extra period 24-2 after normal time had seen the sides level at 72-72. Alexis Schwed scored 31 points in defeat. Bayern will now meet Uni Malaga in the quarter-finals and Kimki take on Valencia Basket. Leith Cabeles Penevesis raised a 20 point deficit to claim an 82 86 road win at Rashia Farm Ulm. Leith Cabeles finished its maiden Euro Cup campaign with a sweep of Ulm and a 2 4 top 16 record, while the home side bowed out as the lone winless team in the top 16. Leith Cabeles sank 13 of their 25 three point shots in one of the keys to the game. Darjus Lavrinovic and Ben Majdan scored 20 points each for Leith Cabeles, who were already eliminated from quarter finals contention. There were plenty of permutations for qualification ahead of the final round of games in Group G, but Apoel Bank Yaha of Jerusalem ensured it was they who finished in first place and now meet Erbalav Gran Canaria with home court advantage in the quarter finals as they defeated Nizhny Novgorod 73 81 in the CEC Nagorne. Lior Eliyahu scored 20 points and seven rebounds, while Amari Steldemeyer netted 19 points, nine rebounds, and three blocks. Kenny Boynton scored 19 for Nizhny. Litovus Ritos Vilnius needed to win by at least nine points to overtake their opponents in round six. Zenit St. Petersburg for second place and then a quarter final spot. And they put in a great performance but fell short, winning by 86 84 in the Siemens Arena. David Logan was the star for the victors here as he scored 28 points, three rebounds, seven assists, five steals, and three turnovers. Sergei Karasev led the way with 24 points for Zenit St. Petersburg. The quarter-final qualifiers from Group H had been decided before round six began. Sedevita Zagreb finished in third place after they beat already qualified Unicaja Malaga 74-71 at Dom Sportova. In a tight game, the home team won the second and third quarters and saw four scorers in double figures, while Dejan Musli stood out for Unicaja with 18 points to his name. The Spanish outfit finished the group in second spot. And they take on FC Bayern Munich in the quarter-finals. Valencia Basket joined FC Bayern Munich as the only teams with six wins from six top 16 games after they overwhelmed Alba Berlin 73-99 in the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Vyacheslav Kravtsov netted 18 points, while Sam Van Rossum scored 17 points, three rebounds, four assists and a steal for the visitors, who saw six players score double-digit totals. Valencia Basket will meet Kimki Moscow region at home first in the quarterfinals, which start on February the 28th.